In this video, I will show you simple steps on how to create disk partitions on Mac OS. This is applicable to any Mac OS version. Let's begin. We will open the disk utility. Press Command plus spacebar on your keyboard. The Spotlight Search toolbar will open. Search for Disk Utility. You can simply enter Disk and Disk Utility will appear. You can tick on it to open. Another way is to open the Launchpad. Same process. Search for Disk or Disk Utility. Tick on it to open. We can see here the disk details. This is the default settings of a new MacBook. The default file system format for Mac OS 10.13 or later is APFS. This device is running on Mac OS 15.3. The disk size is 1 terabyte. We can also see here the used space, other volumes, and free space. You can also view all these details from the table below. On the left, you can expand the down arrow to view the default partitions. To know more about your disk details, at the top of the window, you can click view. Choose show all devices. Tick the top or the primary disk. This is the disk SSD model. The exact disk size. Below are the system disk partitions. The container disk 1, Macintosh HD, and the container disk 2. All these three partitions are the default system disk partitions. The location is internal, this is a built-in SSD. Capacity is 1 terabyte and type is solid state or SSD. At the left, you can expand the down arrow, you can also see here the operating system disk volume we accessed earlier. Let's go back to default settings. Tick the view again and then choose show only volumes. Let's now create a new partition. Choose the primary volume. At the top, tick partition. A new window will pop up. We can see here the all default disk partitions, same as what we saw earlier. We have the Macintosh HD and the container disk 1 and container disk 2. We cannot resize or delete this system volumes. If we select the Macintosh HD, we will notice the stripe lines. This is the used space, it's where the operating system and installed applications has been stored. We will choose this volume to create a new partition. To create a new partition, click on the plus sign. We will be asked if we want to add a partition or add a volume. You can check my other video on how to add a volume. For now we will create a partition so we will choose add partition. The disk will be split or partitioned into two with exactly the same size. The right with stripe line is where our operating system and installed applications has been stored. The left will be the new partition. We can resize the partition based on our likings. We can do this by choosing the partition we want to resize and on the right. Under partition information, we will enter the size we want, it's currently set to gigabyte. We can change this option to kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte and so on. Alternatively, we can drag the small circle until we reach our desired disk space. In my case I want my operating system to be 200 gigabytes. We can see here the used space but it's always best practice to add some adjustments. This if for the new applications that will be installed in the future. If you just switch from Windows operating system, this is the local disk C or drive C. The other partition is the new one. Under partition information, we can give it a name. In my case, this is for my files so I will rename it to files for my reference. If we look at the format, by default it's set to APFS. You can use this options for Mac OS 10.13 or later. We have other APFS options, you can choose if you're familiar with it but the default one will do. For older versions like Mac OS 10.12 and below, you don't have APFS options so you will use the Mac OS Extended Journaled. Lastly, if you want to use for both Mac OS and Windows then choose XFAT. MS-DOS is also used for very old Windows operating system. Hit enter to apply the partition name. We can now see the new disk partition and the disk name. We can add more partitions by doing the same process. If we want to create more partition from this files partition then we can do the same process. Select the partition by clicking on it then choose the plus sign to add new one. It will automatically split the files disk partition into half. The untitled one is the new one. 
The same process, we can use the small circle to adjust the size of the disk partition. I want to create 100 GB disk partition, this would be for my work. It always best practice to use the name as a preference. For the format, we will use the APFS format. Hit enter and we can now see the newly created three partitions. You can add more partitions if you want by following the same process. If you want to delete the a partition then you can simply click on it then tick the minus sign to remove. You can also check my other video if you want. You can also click revert if you want to cancel the operation. Click cancel if you want to cancel the whole operation. Click apply to save all the changes. Partitioning the device will change some of the partitions. No partitions will be erased. Two partitions will be added which are the files and work disk partitions. Also the Macintosh HD which is the default or system disk partition will be resized. This is where the operating system and installed applications currently stored. Choose partition to proceed. Another window will pop up, resizing the startup volume will cause the computer to stop responding. Make sure that there's no power interruption or do not turn off the computer during the process. Click continue to proceed. Wait for it to finish the process. It's better to leave the computer unused. This will take only few minutes. Operation successful. You can tick show details to expand the window to view the logs. Tick done to close the window. We can now see the newly created disk partitions which are the files and work partitions. You can tick on it to view the details. Let's now try to access the newly created partitions. Go to desktop. At the top, click go. Choose computer. You can see here the partitions we created which are the files and the work partitions. Also, we can see here the Macintosh HD which is for our operating system. You can now add some files on the drives if you want. If we check the desktop, there's no shortcut icon created for the newly created disk partitions. To create shortcuts on desktop, go to Finder. Choose Settings. Under Show these items on the desktop, tick the hard disks. Notice the disk partitions that has been automatically created on desktop. If we open back the Finder, on the left, you can see that the disk partition shortcuts has been created. You can either use this one to access the drive partitions or you can use the shortcut icons we created on desktop. I hope by now you know how to create partitions on your Mac OS. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.